name is Sivu Prusent and I come from the Eastern Cape. I work for Harambi Youth Employment Accelerator and we also power SA Youth. And what I do at Harambi is that I'm a learning and content design manager, meaning I create the content and articles that are on SA Youth Mobi to help empower young people to either land an opportunity or improve their hustle. Another place that you could actually go to is our SA Youth Mobi page, where if you type on content and look at our awesome content and type in CV, it gives you a template guide on how to create a CV and tips that can help you to create an awesome CV and make you stand out to that employer. When you guys go and volunteer out there, most of the time is you won't be getting paid, right? That's the reality of it. But look at the flip side of it. What are you getting from volunteering? you get skills from volunteering. It could be how to be a team player by working in a team. It could be you learning time management. These are skills, these are just fundamental skills that you need in the world of work. You could also get computer training skills in that volunteering program. So don't ever put down a volunteering program because it's not paying you. The difference between a learnership and an internship, and I, it boils down to just one simple factor. An internship requires you to have a post matric qualification a learnership just most of the time requires you to either have grade 10 or metric, right? And those are the two differences that are there. When you create a CV, I always say keep it one page. And that's because sometimes the relevant information can fit on one page. So your name and surname is important. What area do you reside in is important because also the employer is looking, are you closer to the opportunity? Plus, don't forget the skills that you have. It's important to list the skills and qualifications that you have in your CV. Lots of scams are out there. Be on the lookout. When your information is online, make sure it's also on private settings, whereby you also look out for the company by looking if this company is it visible, is the address that it's listed on real. Do your research. Like if a company has got a Gmail account, that should also give red flags.